Hi! So this video is going to be about my favorite housewives. I was trying to make this video and it ended up being 15 minutes long and I really don't think anybody's going to sit through a 15 minute video about my favorite housewives because I started talking about every single housewife in each city and it just got too long and maybe I'll do videos later on that are this city, this city, this city, this city and talk about each housewife. Um, so, number one, New Jersey. Favorite housewife, Kathy. She has a strong family. She is a good mother. You can tell by the way her children behave. She is very creative and talented. Uh, she seems like a lovely woman. She, you know, has a good relationship with her husband. She's funny. She can take a joke. She can make a joke. She has, you know, a quick wit. And she is, you know, one of the smarter girls in Jersey. Um, let's move on to next city. Uh, <laughs> New York. Um, Carol, my new favorite. I like the way she teased Luann. That's, that made her jump up all the way in my books. I enjoy that she's a writer. I think she is obviously a very talented woman. I haven't read her book yet, but I really am looking forward to reading it. Um, and I feel like she's one of, she's very self-made and I really respect her. And she's also funny and she's quick-witted. She can take a joke. And, um, that's, the, that's something that I really appreciate, as you'll find. Most of the people that are my favorites are the quick-witted ones. Um, next, uh, Orange County. Heather. She brings New York sensibility to the show. She's pretty much the only one with a brain cell half the time. Uh, she's not a hypocrite. She, um, she is careful to, you know, uh, uh, it's hard to say, but she, com she composes herself well. And, you know, she can come off snotty, but you know what? She's a smart girl amongst a sea of idiots. So it's it's difficult not to come off snotty in, in that situation because she doesn't want to become like those women. And you can tell that she doesn't want to be them. <laughs> She's okay being around them, but she does not want to be them. And, and you can tell. Um, and uh, I wouldn't want to be them either, um, to be honest. Um, and, you know, Heather is, is my favorite because, you know, she brings a breath of fresh air to the show, and without her, it was just a whole bunch of balloons floating around, bumping into each other and making static. Um, so, she's the pin that comes in and pops them all. It's, this metaphor is not working. Um, <laughs> next, okay, we're going to talk about Beverly Hills. Lisa is definitely my favorite in Beverly Hills. She has, um, that British humor. She's very smart. She is sarcastic, and I really like that in people. She knows how to make a joke and you know a lot of people can't take her and that's why I, that's kind of the reason why I like her even more because you know she she walks a line with with her humor and I think I appreciate that um, because it's entertaining for the viewers and um, she actually seems like a very kind person and she's very soft underneath it all and she's also very talented and creative and she's very she's very much a successful businesswoman uh, if you've seen her restaurants, I mean, they look absolutely amazing. I've never been there, obviously, but um, it looks incredible. What she's done with her life, I feel like she's a very wonderful woman, and she has raised her children well, um, from what it seems like to me. Um, and I think that overall, she's just a very lighthearted um, person who's enjoyable to watch. Um, now Atlanta. Atlanta is difficult because so many of them are very entertaining, but they have qualities about them that I don't like. Like Kim and Nini, for example, are both very funny, both very entertaining to watch. They lead um, fabulous lifestyles and they are very interesting people. And um, I really like their personalities in general. But the thing that I don't like about them is that they get too into the drama, and that's a common theme with the Atlanta Housewives. They're all about the drama, um, and they kind of get get too far into it, and they, they, you know, with the weave snatching and, you know, all this stuff, and they kind of are a little bit ridiculous, and, you know, um, that's why my favorite housewife is Candy. And I know you're going to criticize me because I just said that the other ones are ridiculous, and Candy has a line of dildos, but, you know what, I feel like that's a good way for her to... Um, you know, if that's something that... I don't feel like people should have, should be ashamed about sex. That's a whole other video topic. But um, I feel like Candy Candy has, um, you know, she saw, she saw a market. She's smart. She made a product. And um, I think she's a, a good person. She seems like a genuinely kind woman. She's successful. She's creative. And she's interesting. And um, the others are either too much or blank slate. 
um, or just one note. You know, Sheree is one note. She's just always the same thing, and she's never funny, she's never interesting, so um, that's not something that I like to watch. Um, I can't believe that anybody would like Sheree. No offense to those people who like her, but I just don't understand. Um, same thing with Teresa. Um, what's next? Vancouver, Christina Kiesel. She would have to be my favorite because she is funny. She doesn't take everything too seriously. She is a little bit of a crazy party girl like Brandy, but she's also very smart and um, she ha she's brilliant with the English language and um, she has an interesting, you know, life. And I, I don't necessarily respect that she, you know, claims to be a gold digger or whatever because even if she, even if she isn't, it's kind of makes her seem ridiculous to me and it kind of downplays any kind of intelligence that she may have and it doesn't really make her look good I have to say but um well in my eyes um but I do think that she's enjoyable to watch and I feel like she's a generally nice person um when compared to the other cast members who uh Mary seems like a very nice woman but she's not actually as interesting to watch um which is a shame and Reiko um seems a little bit two-faced and you know she was with Jody until Jody you know hurt her and then it was oh well now I'm with Mary and Christina and Ronnie of course is I can't even say anything she is an actress that's all and Jody is an actress as well uh, very much so and um, I don't like that and uh, what is what else is there there's Miami well I can't even remember most of their names but I remember I did like Alexia, I think. Um, was she the... Okay, well, here's what I'm going to say. I liked Leah Black, kind of, okay? But I didn't like her in the context of the show because she didn't really vibe well with the other housewives, okay? Um, I liked um, the blonde one with the really cute son. I don't remember what her name is. I can't remember if that's Alexia or if that's a different one. But I, I did kind of like her, um, and I really didn't like the young one with the son and the the French boyfriend or whatever. I really didn't like her because she's very, very, very annoying, and she always relies on other people. I feel like she's irresponsible. Um, you know what? There isn't really anybody who's my favorite on that cast because they were all very not likable, and they all seemed very fake. Um... And then I guess there's DC, but no point in even talking about it. They were all terrible. Um, I think Cat was funny, but, um, and again, it's British humor. It gets people in trouble in America, so, because um, people aren't really thinking enough to understand when things are jokes and when they're not. Um, I did like Cat, but she, I wouldn't say she's my favorite. Again, it's like I don't like anybody enough to say that they're my favorite. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. No. <laughs> it's hard, because I thought there was more cities than that. Um, yeah, but, um, thank you for watching, if you actually watched the whole thing. And, um, uh, yeah, leave your comments, make a video response, please. I'm, I really want to see other people's opinions on these things. Unless you like Teresa, in which case I'm just going to be like, <laughs> so <laughs> good night.